Okay. All right, you guys, what's going on? It's Sword Ranger for the first time in over two years. Welcome back to a Call of Duty 2 video. Currently, it's 1130 in the morning on Sunday, and I don't even remember the last time I woke up this early to record a video, so now I feel super unproductive. Sorry for being such a lazy piece of shit. Anyways, it turns out, though, unless there's a video that I'm missing, the last Call of Duty 2 video that I uploaded was back on June 25th, 2018. And it really doesn't even seem like it's been that long since I've made a COD 2 video, especially, like, during that time, especially in the spring of 2018 when I got in my car accident broke my hand when I was really only playing one-handed. I was playing COD 2 a lot. Even so, really before that too, especially when I was daily uploading on my channel a couple of years ago, for those of you guys that are still around, I was playing COD 2 a lot, and I'm not really sure why it just kind of fell off for me. It's not like I lost interest in it, it's just that I guess I was occupied with other things, I guess. Or at least in terms of, you know, like what Call of Duty, what the Call of Duty community was doing with like the new games, and I guess what I was just doing here on YouTube just didn't include COD 2. Which is kind of crazy to think about, because I really do love this game. And uh, this video here today Today is going to be a little bit of a throwback. It's a bit of a throwback and it also kind of works out perfectly because for those of you guys that saw my tweet on Friday, I was really, really upset. So real quick before I get into explaining what this server is, uh, if you guys didn't see my tweet on Friday, I was uh, I was a very, very sad boy gamer, all right? And the reason as to why I'm on this game today is because, well, I mean, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's, it's the only game that I can actually hit clips on and actually feel good about myself. And yes, I have a KFC bucket on my head. The stack time on this server is so stupid. I don't know if I just didn't click, right? But yeah, something feels off with the Springfield. So yeah, uh, the reason that's why I'm playing this is because I can hit stacks on this against bots. Yes, like th this is pretty much all bots. And it makes me feel good about myself because again, this is the only game that I can get on and not really try and again, feel good about myself for hitting stacks. So again, for those of you guys that didn't see my tweet or uh, weren't in my live stream on Friday, I'll go ahead and play the clip for you guys real quick. That would have been my Barrett 70. That would have been my Barrett 70. I missed it. I just missed a fucking quad, man! Yeah, and these ghost bullets, dude. Like, sometimes my shots literally just be going through people. And I really, like, don't know what... I just missed a six on. I, I just missed a six on. I, I just missed another fucking closing worthy. I, I'm so fucking sad, dude. Yeah, long story short, uh, I've been trying to go for a Barrett 70 on COD 4. I wouldn't say it's kind of like my uh, road to the L96 multi or uh, R750 that I've been trying to hit for years and years and years. It's just something as of recent that I really, really wanted to hit. And I just got completely uh, just shit out of luck, I guess I could say, on that countdown game. I was not a happy gamer, so I sad boy tweeted about being like, I'm so jealous and envious of those people that could just consistently hit COD clips without trying, yada, yada, yada. And honestly, for as much as a meme as I thought it was going to be, I... I was honestly kind of expecting myself to get memed pretty hard for that, but uh, no. Like, actually, a lot of people seemingly agreed with me on that. It actually made me feel kind of good knowing that I'm not the only one that uh, feels that way. Dude, this stack time, oh my god. In an odd way, it did feel, like, slightly refreshing just because, like, I, I don't know if I've blown up my standards so much in my head, which I think I have, because honestly, I compare myself a lot to a whole lot of other PC players that I just see seemingly just, I don't know, hit clips left and right without even really trying, and I get down on myself, and that's never really what I've been about. I mean, like, yes, obviously, I go for clips. I enjoy sniping, I go for clips, but at the same time, that's never really what I've based my YouTube channel off of, as compared to just content, personality-wise. So I don't know why it gets to me so badly. I, I guess it's just because I've been sniping for so long, and honestly, I'm just jealous, I, I guess I could say. Jealous. I would say more so envious of other gamers' skill at quickscoping, which sounds so horribly nerdy. It also doesn't really help that I am extremely unlucky, which I really don't even feel the need to go into, because you guys already know. Speaking of which, next episode of what it's like to be Rick's way is going to be coming out very soon. I don't want to talk about it. It's also worth mentioning that on this server, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the server here in just a second, but the bots on this server are actually out of this world. Hello. 
gaming. So yeah, again, that's the reason as to why I'm on COD 2, so I can just hit stacks and feel good about myself. <laughs> again, I know it sounds completely horrible and honestly kind of sad to say, but uh, aside all of this though, I guess like the timing just really worked out perfectly for this, because even if this series of unfortunate events didn't happen on Friday, I still wanted to go back and make a COD 2 throwback video anyway. I have this list of notes on my phone of future videos that I want to make, and COD 2 has just been sitting there and just like, I've been waiting for a good time to make it, and honestly, it's just the, the stars aligned for this one. Still so crazy for me to think about though, like it's it's really been this long. I was hoping for that no scope triple. It still didn't even feel like it's been two years since I haven't uploaded a video on this game. That's just, it's kind of crazy. So now with all that being said, let me go ahead and explain how this server works. Oh my god, we got Leningrad. Yes! For those of you guys that haven't played COD 2, like this is one of the smallest maps in the game. I guess you can kind of relate it to Shipman, but... And the places where these bots spawn is just potential lineups like that. So again, here's how this server works. For everybody that has a rank next to their name, those are real players. And then everybody else, zero ping, no rank next to their name, those are bots. I didn't even realize this, but I'm currently on the European server. And they have a whole bunch of different servers for like different versions of the game. They have Oceanic 1.3. Uh, they also have a US 1.3, which is a server I'm more than likely going to switch to here in a little bit. But it also is worth mentioning that I do have a bot named after me on these servers. So if you guys ever come across a guy named Sorixquay Fish Club, that doesn't have a rank next to their name, it's it's my bot. And now this also ties into uh, how I have a KFC bucket on my head is because I was actually given VIP on this server a very long time ago. Shout out to Filthy Free. So again, when I was making videos on COD 2 a very, very long time ago, and I was making, again, consistent videos and streaming in a lot and everything, one of the admins of the server eventually, like, found out who I was, saw my videos, gave me the VIP and everything like that. So now I can change my hat. I also don't want to spam this too much, but I have bound L to launch so I can launch myself into the sky and miss a triple. Um, okay. Just line up for me one more time. They're not gonna line up for me. Okay, never mind. What other hats can I change to here? I have the admin law hat, face glasses, viking helmet, uh, head splitter, haunted hat, press hat, octodad. What is that? Let's try the haunted hat. It's just like I have a- it, it looks like a leprechaun hat. What? It kind of is like a leprechaun hat, but it's like a ghost hat, I get that. Well, it makes sense. Haunted hat, Mike. Head splitter, press hat, or octodad? All right, I want to try octodad this time. Actually, would it help if I just, uh... Yep, I do have an octopus on my- Oh, it's- Oh, it's like a squid hat! Oh, okay, very cool. I'm basically FaZe Banks wearing the squid hat. So yeah, I also wanted to make that very clear because there have been a couple of people as of recent that have uh, mentioned me on Twitter. It's just like, yo, are you on COD 2 right now? Or I think I just clipped you on COD 2. No, you didn't. You clipped my bot. And which even so when it comes to clips on the server, I mean, like, it's- It's not even really supposed to be taken all that seriously. The server is really just for fun. Although there was one point in time where I actually did take it serious enough. That was the longest stack. I thought I just hit a quad. There was one point in time, for those of you guys that remember, where I did take the server seriously enough to, like, actually record a daytage on it, and it seems like forever ago, because that was uploaded in, what, like, 2016, 2017, something like that? Jinxie edited the video. Actually, no, I take that back. Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually did want to, like, start recording, or I actually did start recording a second COD 2 bot daytage, but then my friend Jamie ended up hitting, like, some sort of, like, 10-in-1 and 8-in-1 and headshot on the bots, and I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm completely demotivated. <laughs> it also it doesn't help that I'm not Marshall. I'm not an expert on hitting clips on bots. I'm sad I didn't really hit anything big that game because Leningrad is one of the easiest maps in the game. Like there, there's just so many ridiculous lineups. But now we got Burgundy. I'd honestly make the argument that Burgundy is one of the more iconic and probably one of the best COD 2 maps. Absolutely love this map. <laughs> really? I still kept it going. I thought the stack would have stopped. Really, dude? I swear, these bots are actually insane. I mean, like, you would make the assumption that, oh, Mike, it's just bots. How hard could it be? Have you played against these COD 2 bots, though? That's the spawn trap right there, please. It's also very easy to tell when you get killed by a bot because there's no kill cam. But I'm telling you, they are the most psychotic bots ever. It's just like, if you're anywhere within their line of sight, it doesn't matter if they see a pixel of you. They're, they're flicking on your forehead. See what I mean? Oh my god. Gaming. Uh, <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing when all the bots line up. There's like seven of them just standing in a row. No! Come on, dude. Actually, this gives me an idea. Just go for a 360 every time I shoot. 
not gonna go over very well, but anyways. I also meant to mention this a minute ago, but uh, for those of you guys that don't know who Marshall is when I made that reference, Marshall's a very good friend of mine that I made my Dual Taj Beauty and Rage with two years ago, and uh, speaking of clips, speaking of this whole video and everything, I also wanted to let you guys know of something. I mean, like, I, I guess this is kind of, uh, I can't even really think of the word. Like, I'm talking about not hitting clips, but I also want to let you guys know that I have two mini Tajes coming out very soon. One should be coming out this Thursday, and then I have a Modern Warfare 2 mini that's gonna be coming out, so yeah, uh, now you guys know. Why can't I think of the word? Like, it's not ironic. Would it be ironic? Like, I'm sitting here complaining about clips yet. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would be ironic. Oh, they only need five more kills. Quickly, quickly, go, 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 go. And... How many kills did I just get right there? Oh my... Ugh. How did I only get one? Alright, hang on. 360. Thank you! Alright! I'm actually rather surprised I'm playing on more classic COD 2 maps because when I was trying to get some footage recording this video and also while I was testing out the audio, which I don't even really want to get into, but I just want to let you guys know, if the audio is messed up throughout the recording of this video, I am so sorry. It was so much more complicated than it needed to be. It took me four hours to fix something that should have taken me maybe five, so I'm not happy. So while I was doing the testing recordings though, I was playing on a lot of like custom maps and I'm guessing that they've just added in like fan-made maps to these servers as of recent, so it's actually kind of nice to play more of the uh the classic maps thinking back on it i remember how bad this map was in cod one i think it was called donville but oh my god can i get a break these bots are ruthless man all right, you know what? US 1.3, what are we on? MP underscore Borisovka. All right, let's go. I got on COD 2 with the sole purpose of just, you know, hitting a lot of clips, and I, I don't even think I've really hit anything. Uh, I mean, I've hit a couple of triples, but nothing like I thought it was going to hit, dude. Even on COD 2 bots, I can't even just seemingly get on and just, you know, hit a lot of clips. I just want to feel good about myself, man. Just insanely stacked plus 40. I know I already talked about this earlier, and I already said it in my tweet, but I'll say it again, seriously. For those of you guys that could just get on, like, any game, any COD, any time, and just hit a whole bunch of clips, without even really trying at all seriously you guys got a blessing you guys got a natural gift something that i'm extremely envious of and i don't care how nerdy it sounds it's it's just me being passionate about call of duty i guess you could say i'm gonna have to ask zyroy or somebody like what's it like to just be stupidly good at call of duty just get on a game hit a first ever and be like all right i'm off see you later it's also kind of a weird topic just considering how much the call of duty community has actually changed over the years like obviously nowadays it's more about you know content and personality as compared to uh, like thinking back to like 2012 2013 13 and all that back then clips were pretty much everything but nowadays it's like completely flipped the script which which i technically guess i i feel like i should be thankful for just because i've always focused my channel on you know content and personality as compared to hitting clips but i guess it's just still i guess i could say the old gen in me for lack of a better term honestly it's just for how long i've been in the community i've just never really outgrown the uh the want to hit a lot of clips, you know what I mean? I feel like naturally, over time, a lot of people that, you know, were in the sniping community that just now focus on content have just kind of gotten over it, but I, I haven't. It's weird. They've gotten over stressing about clips, making montages, and everything like that. It's just, it's it's not really the thing anymore, but I still want to hold on to that part of me, you know what I mean? Even though I never really made, like, a whole bunch of montages, I made, like, one Modern Warfare 3 montage back in the day. <laughs> was that laugh oh my oh my yeah I, I completely forgot to bring this up too they have a whole bunch of taunts on the server it's kind of funny i mean again i've made montages i mean i made beauty and rage with marshall i've made a whole bunch of mini tages a whole bunch of cod four minis it's just something that like when i started sniping in the cod community was the biggest thing i mean even back in like 2008 making montages wasn't even like really the thing i mean grizz was one of like the pioneers of it i guess you could say but i mean it's just like people have obviously outgrown that as the years have gone by but at the same time it's just me no i still feel the need to like get on and try and hit clips even though that's just i i'm not very lucky it doesn't happen all that well for me but just I'm, i don't know man maybe i'm weird Weird. That was a bot that just killed me, by the way. I, dude, I wasn't aiming around the corner for like not even a second, and I. Oh my god. Oh, it's bots, Mike. How hard could it be? Just try it, please. Try it. I mean, yes, it's it's bots. It's fun to hit clips on this, but oh my god, man.
Okay, yeah, uh, I think I'm done for now. I'm actually kind of annoyed. I got on this game thinking I was gonna have a good time, and I, I kinda did. It was fun playing COD 2 again, it's just that those bots, man, I just... I'm gonna take a break, and I'll probably come back to this later. So anyways, though, guys, with that all being said for right now, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this COD 2 video. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little throwback. I mean, like, again, it was fun to go back and play some COD 2. I can't really say how often I'll go back and, like, make videos on this game or stream it, unless you guys really want to see it. It was fun, though, like, I really don't talk about this all too often, I feel like, but COD 2 is seriously one of my favorite games. Games. I mean, like, even aside playing against bots, like, the game in general is just super fun. So, again, though, guys, with that all being said, I really hope you all did enjoy this Call of Duty 2 video. And, again, if you guys do want to see some more of this in the near future, go ahead and let me know that down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Soul Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.